Welcome to Prayer and Coffee. Acts 14. Now when they had come and gathered the church together, they reported all that God had done with them, and that he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. God had opened the door of faith. In 2 Corinthians 5, For we walk by faith and not by sight. We must set our affections, our heart on God, and move into his realm by faith. Faith in Jesus Christ. Faith in the word of God. And if you take that step of faith, where there was once the despair of hope deferred, you will step into a place of new hope. But you have to be willing to take the risk and believe again. Hope deferred can sometimes leave us shattered. We can't bring ourselves to believe again. We don't want to be disappointed again. We don't want to be hurt again. Revelation 3, Jesus, who has the key of David, says, See, I have set before you an open door, and no one can shut it. For you have a little strength, have kept my word, and have not denied my name. If you have a little strength today, you are still holding on to God's word. Go ahead, step through the door of faith, and believe in his promise again, the promises in his word, and the promise to you. Psalm 61, Hear my cry, O God, attend to my prayer. From the end of the earth I will cry to you. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done in our lives as it is in heaven. And Father, we ask for healing today for those who are in despair, those who have lost hope. You have set a door of faith before us. And as we have this opportunity to take a step of faith, Father, I pray that you would turn our small step into a leap of, through the door of faith. Let hope be restored as we move in faith again and begin to see your will manifested in our lives, in our church, in America. One more time. Holy Spirit, fill us with your gift of faith for what God is doing right now. Let God arise and let every one of our enemies be scattered. Remove any doubt and unbelief from me, Jesus. By faith, we believe your word. We pray your word and decree your word fulfilled. There is a door of faith right in front of me, and I'm going to go through it. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And Jesus, I will rejoice in you with every step of faith I take as I pray in your mighty name. Amen.